Good morning and welcome to The Morning Show. I'm Jenna. I'm Bob. And we have an awesome morning show topic for you and we're going to be diving into that right after we uh, check out our look of the week and go over some of the announcements. Before we head into our look of the week, we just wanted to point out that moving forward, Stalls TV will only be on every two weeks. So after today, we won't be back until the 22nd where Zach Ellsworth will be joining us to go over some of the new products that we're going to be offering uh, for 2018. It's exciting. Right. And he'll be kind of uh, rounding up everything we went over in Long Beach. So Long Beach is going to be, uh, it's just right around the corner. It's the 19th through the 21st. Uh, so we'll be there while Zach will be here just kind of summing up everything that went on in Long Beach and showing you all of the new products. It's much warmer there. <laughs> yes, we're excited to be there. All right, so um, before we get into our main topic, let's go ahead and check out our look of the week. So this was submitted on our um, Facebook. Uh, we do a show and tell every Saturday and this was submitted by Holly Runyon. Uh, this is a really great look. She did this all out of our uh, really popular CAD Cut Thermofilm, mm -hmm. which is a Stahl's heat transfer vinyl. And tell me what you like most about this. I like everything about this design. <laughs> I mean, it's really busy. It's got a lot of messaging. Uh, the colors are real vibrant. Um, mm -hmm. And I like the fact that we got a three color design uh, by just using two materials. And right. there's no layering there whatsoever. They kind of trap the designs inside. So a lot of the black shirt is showing through. It just really makes those colors pop. Yeah, and I like it that there's so much going on in this design, but she utilized that punch through or uh, that back minus front option mm -hmm. whenever she created her artwork. So we're able to get a three color look in the design only using two. And it seems like this made it very easy to weed too. So there probably wasn't too much time spent in production. Yeah, there. as busy as it looks, it's, it doesn't look like it is really that difficult to weed because a lot of things are connected. I also like the, the choice of the thermofilm. While it's not always the go-to for shirts, but that little bit of a semi-gloss finish helps those colors uh, jump out a little better. Right, and it gives us the ability to do uh, several colors without layering. So we know thermofilm can be pretty thick whenever it comes right. to layering. So being able to utilize that, so we still have a nice thin finish on there. Overall, um, great job. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good morning, Susan, joining us from Liston, Ohio, and good morning, Lou. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. And we'll go ahead and dive into our main discussion, discussion which is heat printer resolutions. It's that time of year. It is the first of the year. Happy New Year, by the way. We yes. failed to say that. I wanted a noisemaker and a hat, but they wouldn't <laughs> let me do it. But it's great to, uh, to look at uh, what we're going to do in the new year. People are always making New Year's resolutions, usually something to do with um, your health or your weight or your, mm -hmm. how you're eating and we'll start exercising more and a lot of those yeah, we don't usually adhere to them very long but that's what resolutions are about but these we hope that you um, that you're able to take seriously and because they're about bettering your business right so, yeah so it's gonna go a lot into uh, business aspects setting goals for that and how you are going to be able to achieve them so Bob and I have come up with a pretty good list that we think will be pretty helpful for 2018. Yeah, start off the top. I resolve to stop undervaluing my products. We have a tendency that, oh, you know, we downplay ourselves. They're not going to pay that much. I've, I've overpriced this. I got to knock it down so that they'll buy it. Um, we just want to make sure that, that you're not undervaluing what you're doing and that there's been a lot of time and effort and quality products went into your designs onto your, onto your specific blank. Um, so you want to kind of establish a reputation for quality and, and reliability, uh, not necessarily being the cheapest. Right. And that plays a lot into the offering that you are showing your customers. So uh, rather than just a Gildan 100% cotton t-shirt, maybe mm -hmm. doing something a little higher end, um, like a tri-blend t-shirt and a unique uh, finish, like our new silicone heat transfer vinyl. So right. being able to add more quality into the offering that you're giving them will make your customer want to pay more because they're seeing that high quality finish, that higher perceived value. So mm -hmm. Being able to, I just, I wouldn't be afraid to upcharge some of the offerings that you have in right. bringing in unique items that you know your competitors probably aren't pressing. Right and now. knowing that producing that doesn't cost any more. Right. Your design is going to cost the same to, to weed and apply as it did if it's going to be affordable uh, garments. So stepping that up is going to do nothing but raise your profits without really adding any additional cost to you. 
Yeah. And that brings us to being able to calculate our costs correctly. So we always want to take labor and overhead into consideration, how much time you spent in production being able to apply that. And we have a uh, great resource for that. It's the Stalls Cost Calculator. Uh, where you can plug in your dimensions, the percentage of overhead that you want to use, um, what you're pay if you're paying an employee to uh, weed and heat apply your garments for you, all of that is taken into consideration in that cost calculator. So that's available on the Stalls TV website. It's a free download, and uh, you just plug that all in, and you get your output for right. how much it's going to cost you to produce an item. Exactly, and that's probably the most important part when you're right. cost calculating is knowing what your true costs are, and not leaving anything out. The labor and over the overhead and labor are typically ones that we just leave out. Oh, I have to have the lights on anyway because I'm out of my basement, etc. It's all going in towards that. And if you, even if you're not having a, if you don't have an employee per se, you've got to pay yourself at right. some point. You've got to make some money at this. That's why we're in here. I know it's fun, but eventually we need to make some money so we can stay awake. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, hi, Kathy, John, and Sandra. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, and that kind of brings us into our next current trend or our next item on the list, and that's keeping up with current trends. So we're talking about offering higher end items. So you want to know what exactly you want to bring in to be able to upsell what you're uh, producing for your customers. So being able to stay with current trends is ideal for that. Yeah, and there's a lot of ways to do that. It's sometimes it's just as simple as subscribing to a trade magazine like mm -hmm. Impressions or Printwear or Apparel Decorator. Uh, sometimes it's just using the Google and <laughs> yeah. seeing what's going on out there. Get out of your, get, climb out of your rock for a little while and see what's happening in the rest of the world. Um, but also maybe um, you know, taking a browse around through the mall. Look at some of the higher end boutique type of settings. Go to Buckle, go to American Eagle, some of the you know, little more trendier type of places uh, to see what's current and that's what your customers are looking for. Yeah, and as this industry continues to evolve, I've noticed that a lot of our apparel manufacturers and distributors are keeping up to date with those current trends sure. as well. Uh, Sandmar is amazing with this. They're always doing a trend report, whether it's for a new season or just for the new year in general. They're going over uh, what people are looking for in 2018. And we'll actually be doing that here on the morning show in the beginning of February, um, talking about what trends are gonna be popular for 2018 spring going into summer. And that will help with being able to stay up on those uh, trend reports, knowing what pieces of apparel are popular and what your customers are gonna be looking for. They're all very retail inspired and they all hit different niches and markets so that you know uh, exactly what you need for who you're selling. Yeah, and we're in close communication with those mm -hmm. apparel, uh, apparel suppliers. So we're getting that part from them. So they're projecting that, that you know, they, that's what they do for a living. And then of course, our finishes, all the mm -hmm. things that are, that are cool to go on that, uh, that apparel is provided by stall. So we have you come and we got you covered both ways. Yeah, so, and some of those uh, trendy finishes are gonna be patterns, glitters, foils, just kind of a little teaser for what you guys are going to be seeing in the trend report. Um, and working harder or working smarter, not harder. Let's yep. make sure I get that correct. Yeah, number three, work smarter, not harder. That's an age old adage that people have used in every industry, but it's, it is important. It's, you, you want to be efficient. You know, it's coming from a production background, efficiency is everything. Getting the most that I can get done with the least amount of time, least amount of effort, and with least amount of mistakes. Right. So that being said, we might, you might consider bringing in some time saving aids, some production aids. Um, first one that comes to mind is a weeding table. Mm -hmm. you know, some of our higher tack materials like fashion film and, and glitter flake, which is, can, can be very delicate, having uh, a weeding table to help speed that process up usually saves you at least 40%, if not higher, of time in getting things done. Uh, that can be huge for you. Yeah, and not only the weeding table, but we also are offering the weeding panel now, yes. which comes at, as a smaller size and a more economical price. Mm -hmm. uh, so having those two options there is definitely going to help you succeed you, with- You can afford to have price. one in every room of the house. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, and then uh, that laser alignment system. So Always being, a biggie. Yeah, being at the press and being able to lay down your transfers correctly, making sure they're lined up. That laser alignment does wonders for a lot of our customers, and it's always a huge hit, even at trade shows. It they is. see it, they see how easy it is to line up the transfers at the press. Um, do you want to dive in a little deeper on how it works? Yeah, it's well, first of all, the, the laser alignment system just comes with four adjustable laser lines, and you can use those to, for however you want 
a classic example would be a name and number combination. I can put a straight line across where the bottom of the name will be, allow that inch and a half or two inch space between the name and the number, and then maybe the inch that's between each number if you're doing pre-cuts. I can lay these down and have that ready to go mm -hmm. and be accurate with it in a very, very short period of time. So it's picking up uh, efficiencies as far as how much time it takes because I'm not measuring, I'm not doing this, that, and the other, and rechecking and checking and double checking. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to ha have faster production and I'm going to know that I'm going to be more accurate. So it's going to re reduce my waste. So I know I'm confident that when I put that press down, it's where it's supposed to be. Right. Right. And just to uh, kind of cover some of the questions that are coming in, Marcy and Susan, you both wanted to know where the uh, hoodie behind me came from. That is Boxer Craft. Uh, Boxer Craft and J America both offer hoodie styles like this. They're very popular. Um, and that is hologram that is on the hoodie. Uh, good morning, Mike and Marcy. We have two Marcy's joining us this morning. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, if you're just now joining us, we are going over our uh, heat printers resolutions for the new year. Got it. All right. So we just... Um, we're talking about work smarter, not harder. We mm -hmm. went over the weeding table and panel and mm -hmm. the laser alignment system. Um, and let's dive a little bit into some of the equipment that would help us work smarter. Right. Um, one of them could be just maybe it's upgrade to an auto open press. Mm -hmm. Something that auto releases, whether it be the auto open clam or even just or an air press uh, that, that right. releases and opens them by itself. And that's not a lazy man's tool, although it can help with fatigue, et cetera, where you're only doing one motion or pressing two mm -hmm. buttons. That's a great thing. But it also lets me multitask, so therefore I can get more done in a shorter period of time. I'm not waiting for the 10 to 15 seconds for the beep. I'm now able to do any number of things, whether it be production related or maybe go answer the phone. I'm not stuck there. So I'm able to get multitask, get more done in a short period of time with, with a simple auto open press. Right, so we have those auto features that open for us in heat press styles. And then we also have vinyl cutters. So if you're working with a um, lower end cutter like the Silhouette or Cricut that is running on a stepper motor, we also have uh, cutters that are higher end that work on a servo motor that mm -hmm. allow us to uh, create more speed whenever we're cutting our designs and have additional features that are going to help with waste and the weeding process. Sure. So those are going to, uh, it's kind of like a three in one. You're solving three problems and uh, just upgrading to one cutter. Mm -hmm. All right, and then also utilizing services uh, from stalls. So um, we offer a variety of different services, whether it's printing full color um, logos to uh, cutting pre-cuts for you guys if you're doing uh, jerseys for teams and leagues. Right, and not just the pre-cut numbers that I can lay down, though it's the absolute best way to go as far as cost efficiency. But also, you may just not have the capacity. You may have overbooked. You may have overscheduled. We'll talk about that in a little bit, too. Uh, but you may have tried to fit too much in, and we have to produce. So having us do it for you uh, is, is great. It's really going to be a nice time saver for you. And you know you can confident knowing that it's done right, and, uh, and it's going to be a great look for your customer. Right. All right, so that brings us to uh, trying new things. So uh, whether that be um, new equipment or trying new products, anything to really uh, branch you out into different markets and niches that you may not be servicing right now. Right, just adding something new. It doesn't have to be an all-in, I'm going to go buy a you know, six-station automatic heat or a screen printing system because I'm not offering it right now. It may just be something as simple as getting a different printer, or maybe try a little sublimation here and there, try a new type of fab, uh, or sorry, a CAD cut material that I haven't used yet. Just see, test market it and see what you've got. Try something new. It may be the next big thing for you. Right, and that'll also um, just add more value to your business, showing your customers that you can do a variety of different things other than just basic t-shirts and hoodies. Mm -hmm. So just adding in new stuff overall, it's going to help uh, build confidence too in you and your business, knowing that uh, you've become a, a professional in offering all these different things. It mm -hmm. just really helps overall. And not just a one trick pony. Right. <laughs> all right. So uh, scheduling better is next on the list. Everybody needs to schedule better. I don't care who you I need are. To schedule you better. need to schedule better for sure. <laughs> but no, scheduling better is important. Uh, understanding what you can realistically achieve with the time that you have. Know your capacity, how much I can get done in a given period of time with the heat presses and the staff that I have and or the cutters, whatever it is, maximize my equipment. Here's how much I can do in a day's time. And then also scheduling 
ordering the blanks, right. um, ordering the, the designs, maybe you're ordering them outside, or when do I have to have them cut by cut and weed and ready to go? All the components are together so I can deliver by this time. And while you, you know, knowing that in advance is going to help you schedule new jobs when someone says, hey, when can you get this done? You say, oh, we'll do it by Friday. You didn't even look. You don't have a clue. Guess what? There's seven other jobs due on Friday, and there's no <laughs> way I'm going to get that done. So having a good scheduling, whether it be a program or just a, something as simple as a paper calendar with things written in and scheduling when each component needs to be ready. Right, and that sounds obvious, but working with a calendar is going to do wonders for you. You don't think that it will just because it's hanging there. You mm -hmm. don't feel like writing that stuff down, but writing it down is going to help you remember what is coming up and what's due and just by looking at that calendar and seeing the date. Um, and then also utilizing any program, scheduling programs online. So if you have to schedule for your social media accounts so that you're getting the word out there for your business and what you're offering for a new season, uh, there are amazing um, apps that you can use for that, such as later.com. If you have a uh, your business on Instagram, because Instagrams are shoppable now and you want to be able to reach a certain demographic that way, you can schedule out all your posts a month at a time or a month in advance if you need to. Uh, but you're able to just plan all of those out. That works for Instagram and Pinterest. And Facebook does an amazing job at allowing you to schedule posts as well. So being able to just go on there, create photos, images, share videos, um, and just do all of that all through uh, Facebook, so you can choose your demographic, people that you want to reach, and based off of what they're searching, it just does an amazing job for getting the word out there on social. And by scheduling like that, knowing your capacity, you can always leave just a little buffer in there for mm -hmm. those last minute or you know, unexpected things that could pop up in this industry, we know they do. So you know, being ready for that to have a little bit of extra fluff in there, not, not so much that you underachieve, but making sure that you'll be able to produce, because this is a, kind of a, can be a quick turn type of, uh, industry force. Absolutely. And then I think setting reminders does a good job too. So uh, that's easy to do on your phone with a phone calendar, just being able to put in, all right, this is the time I need to order these garments so that I have a two to three day, because I have that two to three day window for to get those in and order my transfers and everything I have to do in between that time. So uh, setting reminders is going to um, really help that process as well. And cool. then of course, allowing contingency time for uh, the unexpected. So anything could go wrong whenever it comes to ordering garments and transfers, or even if you are uh, vinyl cutting in-house or doing anything like that. Just allowing a buffer time to sure. be able to take care of that. Back orders happen. <laughs> it does a lot. <laughs> All right, so um, that brings us to what's next? Maybe it's time to finally retire Old Faithful. And I'm talking about equipment at this point. Maybe it's your first heat press that brought you to where you are today and it's just near and dear to your heart, but maybe it's just not performing like it should. Or maybe your cutter is you have to go through a lot of extra steps that you don't even, you've come gotten used to doing, but it's just not the best way to go. It might be time to think about new equipment. I'm not trying to spend everyone's money, but sometimes the investment in an upgraded piece of equipment or an additional piece of equipment mm -hmm. could actually, you know, go a long way to opening up that schedule for you and getting more production out of there with a minimal. It'll, they typically pay for themselves very quickly. Yeah, absolutely. And then even staying up to date with your software also. Right. Um, just knowing that um, there are always updates even in artwork creation, just constantly updating and staying up to date with that stuff um, and knowing the right time to upgrade. So um, being able to uh, realize financially where you're at and how much you can do with mm -hmm. additional equipment yeah. or and sometimes programs. you just you just can't afford not to if you're if if your you know equipment is subpar you may be putting out a subpar quality mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, your end end product goes so you almost have to it sometimes but you'll know what you know when it's right uh, it's time to step up your game yeah and how many people do we have in our heat press for profit group that are always talking about their pro press or the press that they purchase off of amazon and the issues that they're having so being able to realize like a lot of people do start off with that press it's very common in this industry but what we need to realize is that it's just one to get and play around with to kind of get the hang of things like we eventually know that this is going to stop working. Eventually you take the training wheels off and go for the big boy. Right, so just knowing that um, those presses can um, increase time spent in production. Yep. Uh, they allow for uh, 
transfers to not apply correctly because there's not direct distribution of heat uh, with that heating element. So um, just realizing that it's going to affect the quality of your services to your customers and all of that. So mm -hmm. nothing, nothing worse than having to rework a job, do it again because it failed the first time. So we like the quality product on the first time. And a lot of times it's having the good equipment. Right. And we get to see a lot of that new equipment at trade shows. Good segue. <laughs> That's the next one. Get yourself out to at least one trade show a year. Um, there are, it's a, trade shows are a great place to do a lot of the things that we talked about, keeping up with current trends, seeing what's new in the market, uh, maybe upgrading um, your equipment because that's some, what some of the best prices happen there. So get yourself out to a trade show. See what's, see what's happening on the outside world. Uh, one coming up you mentioned earlier is coming up just in a little over a week. Mm -hmm. uh, that's in Long Beach and it's really sunny and warm there. Right, and if you're not able to uh, make it out to Long Beach, there's going to be a variety of different shows that are going all year round. And if you are tuned into Impressions um, Magazine or Print War Magazine, they're very good at keeping you up to date on, on trade shows that are going to be in your location. So you're able to make it out. So maybe you don't want to travel far for it and you can find one a little closer. You'll always be in the know whenever it comes to where trade shows are going to be throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to help with seeing new products, new equipment, um, and just keeping your business current. Um, we do a lot of education at these shows. So if you're looking to get started or maybe advance in your business, you're able to use um, the utilize the uh, education and look at trends, apparel finishes, new apparel that's going to help your business grow ultimately. Right. And it's a great time just to get out of the office once in a while. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, so, you know, if, if you are going to one of those shows and you need a place to eat at any one of the given shows, email me. I've got a list. <laughs> we got this. Yeah, he's your go to for uh, what, what good food to uh, get at your trade shows. All right. So, before we move on, um, we looks have like we more. went over all of that. Yeah. All right. One more. One more. Lastly, uh, but, it's, but it's, it's an important thing. Schedule some me time or some us time. Um, this, this is supposed to be a fun industry. It's why you got into it. And keep it fun. Give, give yourself a little bit of a break once in a while. Uh, don't make it all work. A little right. bit of play in there sometimes to you know, pause, rest, and reflect and get back and re kind of recharge yourself. So it's important that you schedule that in. That's part of the scheduling process. It's part of still enjoying what you're doing, and which comes across overall as a, as a better product for your customer. Yeah, and that's going to play a lot into scheduling, which is when we went over. Just mm -hmm. having that good work-life balance uh, is going to do a lot for your business. Absolutely. All right, so that sums up uh, what we have listed for um, heat printer resolutions and what you should start to try to incorporate into your business to uh, ultimately uh, lead to success for 2018. Uh, before we head to our Make It Monday uh, segment, I just want to go over some of the comments and questions. Uh, good morning, Eddie, Marcy, you've upgraded to a Fusion and it was the best decision ever. Now time to upgrade grade the plotter. All right, so we always love hearing that from our customers, how much a piece of equipment has helped them um, successfully create uh, more offerings for their customers. Um, and what's nice is that you can network with all these people before upgrading too. If you have questions, always um, feel free to either uh, message us, we can put you in the right direction with someone and that would be more than willing to talk about uh, how much it has helped them and even networking at trade shows does oh, very well with that too. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll head over to the Fusion for our Make It Monday segment. All right, welcome to this morning segment of Make It Monday. As you can see here, I have a shoe and the shoe platen loaded onto my Hotronics Fusion. So we're actually going to be printing uh, this shoe with our fashion film. So this is a faux suede shoe. This was purchased from Wholesale Boutique. It is a Viv and Lou brand. And this is one of those high-end items we were talking about earlier when it comes to offering uh, new higher-end uh, accessories or garments to your business so that you can ultimately upsell your customers. 
All right, so I just want to show you how easy it is to print something like this. Now, this is going to be a different application than you're used to seeing because we're going to be using a cover sheet that is known as the flexible application pad. This is going to absorb a lot of heat whenever it comes to printing heat sensitive items such as this faux suede fabric. Now before I do this, I want to tack my fashion film first. The reason I want to tack my fashion film first is you can see this is on a thick mylar carrier and will chance uh, indenting that into the shoe with the amount of pressure that we have with the press and the heat. So I'm just going to cover this with my regular craft paper cover sheet and tap it for just a few seconds so that we're making sure that adhesive has activated and began to stick to that fabric. All right, so I'm just going to release some of my pressure there, tack that for just a couple seconds. Now I can go ahead and peel the carrier. Another thing we want to be careful about is scorching this fabric. So whenever I say heat sensitive fabric, that's where we want to be very careful uh, with the type of application that we're doing. This flexible application pad is going to absorb a lot of this heat. So I'm able to just lay that right over top of there. Whenever I am using this, I want to make sure that I am increasing my time up to about 15 seconds. I'm sorry, we want to go, it, fashion film is typically set at 15 seconds, so we want to add an additional uh, 10 to 15 seconds on top of that. So I'm going to apply this for 25 seconds, and this is just going to go ahead and count that down. So what this uh, application pad is made of is silicone rubberized cover sheet, and it's going to absorb enough heat that it's not going to essentially hurt that heat sensitive fabric, that faux suede, but it's going to give it enough heat that the adhesive is still adhering to that fabric. Now you may have noticed, and I see some comments coming in, uh, you may have noticed that I did not preheat, so anytime that you are working with any um, materials or accessories that are not going to be laundered, we do not have to do that preheat. And that's what's nice about printing a heat sensitive material is that that preheat is going to be less time for this to be under that uh, high heat. All right, so this is a great application, uh, very easy to do with your Hotronics Fusion with those interchangeable platens. Um, I see a question from Gina uh, thinking about doing a pre-sale in my group, do you find the fit true to size? Um, I need to know a little more. Are we talking garments? Are we talking uh, design? Uh, it's always going to be a little back and forth between design because you want to make sure that you're definitely getting uh, the right fit for the style of shirt that you're printing. All right, so that seems to uh, sum up those questions. We'll go ahead and join Bob back at the table and thanks for joining me for this Make It Monday. Well, that's pretty much a wrap for our first morning show of the year. We appreciate you, uh, you uh, tuning in, and uh, we will be back in two weeks. Actually, Zach will be back in two weeks for uh, another episode. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, guys. We'll see you in a couple weeks. See ya. <laughs>